Hello, it's Karen. And Tim. From Stamping on the Back Porch. And we have a really fun live for you today. But, of course, first, we have We've mail. got mail. <laughs> Our favorite time of the week is to look at mail. Tim always opens them and looks at them, you know, but I haven't. Okay, I have to see. Tim and Karen. Oh, here's one for me. I have to see if there's any that I can look at. Okay, here's here's a couple that I can look at by myself while I'm waiting for him. I'm trying to, <laughs> trying to find it. Ginny Kaplan. It's at this. Uh, are you here? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and I love this card. This is actually, I recognize this card. Who else does? We made this in one of our retreats, and I love it. Do you see how the front of it? It's a vellum card, and the front of it has been run through an embossing folder. And then she's got just these fun little layers there. So really a fun layout. And she sent me the sweetest letter with it. Thank you, Ginny is one of my downline. I totally appreciate that. Julie Heights. I'm gonna tell you something about Julie. You're gonna to wanna to come over to the Backport Stampers um, to find out more tomorrow, but she's uh, she is a quilt card. You know, she's been a quilter forever and she's gonna be, be doing a whole barn quilt series which is really fun. But, oh, look at this cute card that she made. Oh, I love that. And do you see the effect of the barn here? I don't I know how many of you have gone. Um, I know when we were out just the other day going north of here, we came across a barn with the quilt and you can get whole maps and stuff to go with that. So anyway, we're gonna be talking about that. Oh, I love it. It's a nice message inside and thought, oh, so anyway, we'll be talking about that tomorrow. You can meet her over in the back porch stampers. In Scandia, Minnesota, there's Quilts on a yeah. lot, a lot of the yes. a lot of yes. the stores, yeah, and that restaurants, was very fun. grocery stores, clothing and stores. Karen Dixon, and this is a nice throwback card. Oh, here we have a fence, but who remembers these little girls? The one pulling them on the wagon. I love throwback cards because <laughs> it just reminds us of um, all the different stamp sets in that past, and you make each day a little brighter. Isn't that fun? And then we have some together, Tim. Oh, we do. So you want to open this one? This is from Mary Milner in North Carolina. And Karen's from Iowa. Last one. We I, think just I, need, I think I need help Shout with this one because it's. No, I don't think this I think is kind of. I don't know. Can you, I? You like doing okay. the fold cards. How cool is this? It's a buckle card. Buckle fold. Oh, that is just really lovely. Oh, and, and look, she wrote an yes. extra note. So she just she went to the extra work and put it in a little post it note under there. Oh, that's wonderful. And it is a thank you from her. No. And this is one one of our Fold and Tech Cards classes that we did. Oh, I have another class coming up in two weeks. It's going to be really fun. So you want to check out the All Good Cards class. But what's fun is I'll show a fold or whatever we're working on. And everyone makes their own things. I love this. And I love how it's, did you see how it says thank you on the side? So it's awesome. So you don't just see my ideas. You see all kinds of ideas. So I love it. Yes. <laughs> Tim likes the whole Read that. Oh, look at this. Page saver. Oh, I would have missed this. For Mr. Tim Titus, when I went, look at this. TT. <laughs> it's a little like a page, a, a little book, a little teeny, teeny bookmark. Oh, is that great? <laughs> and it's winking. <laughs> How fun is that? I love the wink. <laughs> Thank you, Mary. Yes, can you believe it's already October, Mary Lou's saying happy October. Oh, my goodness. That means new card kit, new, new host code and everything. Okay, and this is from, oh. well, I'm looking for the name. Oh, Pat Nagy. <gasps> and thanking us for the Tech and Full class. This was one of our last, oh, look at Belly Band card. Mm -hmm. I know, can I apologize to Pat? Because mm -hmm. Pat, I, when I open cards, I use a letter opener. Oh. <laughs> but I taped it back shut. I, okay. I, sliced, okay. <laughs> I sliced the Belly Band. True confession. So, you know, if you send him something complicated, you have to put a note, um, don't slice. Tear open, please, you know. Or, Don't slice. <laughs> yes. I wouldn't have known that. So first time I've heard that story. <laughs> I love it. It just, you know, makes it all part of the deal. So it's a belly band card. We slide off the belly band. I'll try to. Anyway. And then look how cool that is. And it's a tuck and fold. Then you just open it. Well, thanks, you guys, for sending these cards. We had such a good time in class. You know, when I do my All Good Cards Club, it's only $15 a month, you guys. We, oh, I love it. We get together three times over the weekend, so it's kind of like a little mini retreat, and then we do a series of things. My next one, since, just since we're talking about it, is going to be 
three different like box type things to put cards in plus quick and easy cards to put inside so it's an awesome deal we're just we're thinking ahead for Christmas so even if you're not into boxes you're gonna love the quick and easy cards. so it's all you know it's all it's all good I love what you put in the belly band that is I so should. fun seriously I should just to fool them mess with them stamp a whole bunch of oak or um, what do they call these things um, acorns acorns and strew them around outside and the squirrels will come and gather them. <laughs> yeah. there you be, go Tim. and there'll be no nutrition okay Tim has too much time on his hands that's all I can say Kathy Murphy in Illinois oh and a quilt card quilt card oh it fits right into the week how cool is it see that Tim mm -hmm. she's got all these little um, I think that would have been a punch. Look at all those little punched, and then they've just been run through, just like a quilted machine. I love it. Beautiful card. Fits just right in. Anything inside? A note. Thank and you, Kathy. And one last card from Carolyn Vogt from... Just wait. I want to just show mm -hmm. this up close, because this is very nice. This is, mm -hmm. I like that. Well, Carolyn Vogt, for, also from Wisconsin. And what a fun... Um, oh, she sent... Oh, she sent two cards like this. I'm just reading this one for my mom and one for us. It's not great thinking of both at the same time. And you guys, my mom, you know, we finally got to meet her in person yesterday, six feet away, and we couldn't show her anything or bring in food or anything. Um, so we're still waiting till I can go to her room and I can enjoy looking at all the cards with her and I'll get a picture for all the cards. But just know how much she has treasured that. Oh my goodness, what and a special we, time this has been. We've lost track. I think, it's, <laughs> I, I think it's like 200 I cards. I think we're like at 200 cards. You guys were absolutely amazing. We I hope. Just, we, what a difference. We hope to get to 94, no, 96 for her age. Yeah. But we're way, way past. That. And how fun to think of sending us one too with her. Oh, that's really awesome. Oh, that is just the cutest little thing. Okay, the new host code is 624-TMM. PP. Ooh, I see a Tim in there, you know. Ooh. I mean, we'll have to just think about We're always looking for fun phrases for that, so you can work on that. And the card kit. Oh, and did you see a bunch of designer series paper is on sale this month? So you're going to want to check that out. In addition to just checking it out, one of the reasons this weekend is World Card Day. I'm not used to so many announcements. Uh, and I'm doing a free class on YouTube. I'll be and mm -hmm. June 24th is one week seven days after my birthday <laughs> so tim's working on it already. yes okay <laughs> i'm going to be doing a double one sheet wonder free class it'll be on youtube but i will put the link here so you just show up and all you need to come join i'm going to do two different sets i'm going to use two different papers this happens to be pampered pets but you can choose anything you can get your christmas cards done if you haven't done that but you're going to choose any two papers from the same pack that go together because you see now it gives me four papers to work with that's why and they'll all look good together and then some just some card stock or some card bases in that go in those colors that's all you're going to need and we're going to make these fun cards that's at 11 but again that's not all all weekend my team is going to be doing um, different lives and every single one of us is doing a drawing so it's gonna be fun and you have until monday night at 9 p.m central to go watch the videos and leave a comment to be entered into the drawings. And I'll list all the winners on Tuesday. But it's gonna be fun. And some of my team are brand new, have never done this before. So they're trying to figure out how to do a live, how you plan all this. So, oh, we would love, love, love to have you come. Go out and support Watch a few them. of us and yes. yeah, some support. These first first time people, you know, we're, we're learning to get out of our comfort zone. And we just wanted to celebrate together. So it's gonna, it's on my blog. It, if you get my, if you're on my mailing list, you'll also get a, a, a schedule that's coming out this afternoon. And you know what? You want to be on my mailing list because next week also starts the 12 weeks of Christmas. So you get an extra project every Wednesday. So you know, I, you're going to want to go to KarenTitus.com. Can I say something? On the mailing list. I, I shudder. Know. I shudder at our first, <laughs> our first things. I tried to read comments and I'm learning disabled. I can't read very well. Now I can't read at all. But I couldn't read comments so I'd stumble over them and I would it was horrible horrible <laughs> yeah. horrible horrible now Karen does all of it but we're still here and and we love it and we're still you know we're just as 
Um, goofy is? No. Uh, yeah, goofy. We're, we're not refined. We don't have elaborate setup. You know, we don't have anything. We are here because of you guys, community. G you giving us a chance to build community with you. We just absolutely love it. Uh, and I appreciate so this has been a fun journey together. So I would just love to share that with, you know, with my, my team. So to get support for them too. And yes, Sharon's asking about the paper. Yeah, just to be safe for everything, do your paper the long way. There's only one card that needs it that way, but just in case. Okay, and then, of course, since it's a new month, it's a new card kit. And the card kit, I'm just going to show you all three cards today. So as I just finished them, now I have to get them up. But we are using, I think these make great masculine cards. We're using the Snow Wishes die, just the die. There's a stamp set that goes with it. I only use things with the dies, but I just wanted to show you. These are three gorgeous cards that really stand alone, just using using the dies. So just pretty fun. And then we have the gold hoop. Yep, that's part of it. You'll get that. And then whatever words you want to put in the little sentiment. But when you place a $50 order with me or more each month, you get... A set of cards that, to make. This is it. So you get the the uh, PDFs, and then you get a finished card from something. So I think that's it. <laughs> Diana says she's glad we're still here. Oh Tim, I'm glad we didn't give up. Oh, <laughs> what'd you put it on? Oh, one of the cards. <laughs> <You're right>. Cute. <laughs> oh, Patricia's so sweet. She says that we're an inspiration. Thanks for sharing your stories with us. All that's so wonderful. We appreciate you guys. And over in the back porch, Stampers. You know, this is Quilt Week. Oh my goodness, the stories being shared are just really fun. So come join us. And there's a, <clears throat> there are several other videos, kind of like today. Well, today's is longer and more meandering because um, I'm sharing a favorite quilt each day and then a card that was inspired by it. Today is a very special day because I want to show. It is my shirt that says back and front. Well, I'm waiting for it to come up and see. Eight years ago this month, I think it was eight. We were trying to think eight or um, nine. when I was diagnosed with breast cancer. And every year since then in October, I have done a card making fundraiser. So I wear my shirt and I pronounce it. And the thing about it is it's a very community based because I invite friends, customers, downline. Everyone comes to our house and Tim serves. We do it over a three day thing and Tim serves lunch, supper, whatever people are here. And we make card kits that we sell for $25. And we raise a nice amount of money doing that. But this year, our house is closed. So this is just, <laughs> this is going to be a year to remember for that too. So I'm hoping next year we're back. But I just wanted to say in honor of that, you know, I am just so grateful to be here and be healthy. Eight years later, I'll have to put up a couple of the posts that I made when I did it. You, you know we like to deal with life with humor. And, you know, I wear this shirt <laughs> just because it makes a statement. And I chose to not do reconstruction as my choice, both because I didn't want more surgeries and I also just, for me, wanted to make a personal statement that breasts don't define a woman. So, so here we are. So, <laughs> but... And I never heard her complain at all about any of it. <laughs> yeah. Really, it was unbelievable. Oh, it, yeah. Major, major, major surgery. And you surgery. know, it is such a common journey, a sisterhood. We all, a sisterhood, we all know someone, if it isn't us personally, we all know someone that is dear to us, that is, um, has gone through or is going through breast cancer. So we don't take in any kind of cancer. I mean, there's just so many things out there to deal with. But my quilt today is from a story from there. So, you know, story time. This is just awesome. Uh, one of our sons was dating at that time, a woman, um, and her mother, who lived in a smaller town in Minnesota, she had a group of friends that quilted together. And here's what I love about the story. They, every time they started a quilt, they never knew who it was for. It never had a plan. Sometime throughout the course of creating their quilt, it would become clear who it should be given to. And that just gives me goosebumps to just think of that because they chose to make it for me. And I, you know, I love, love, love the quilt and I love, love, love the story and, and how much that meant. And I've never met them. You know, I sent them thank yous and I thought, I, but I think of them often. And what I think about is them gathering and creating for someone that they don't know, will probably never meet, and some, but some personal connection somewhere. And I know some of you are involved in like quilting for, someone had shared a story about, you know, getting a prayer quilt, you know, from people like at a church. I remember I got a prayer Afghan, which I absolutely loved, a prayer 
um, shawl. Her shawl. You know, all those things really matter. So I just wanted to share the story and let you know, oh, how much this matter. And aren't these blues amazing? And these are all reproduced 40s vintage prints in blues. And you know, it, it is a log cabin. It's got the, and it's got the red. I was <laughs> mentioning earlier, someone, someone had said that a log cabin quilt, because I did a day on that, should have red in the center for a true log cabin for the fire in the furnace. I've never made one with red, but I noticed it here. And the thing that's cool is it's really the only red in here. It's the only like striking thing. It's mostly just dark blues. And it's kind of like a double log pattern. I'm gonna do a different pattern just because I've done a log pattern. But I just wanted to notice it's really the same as it goes around. Just started with a double thing in the middle. But this is such a gorgeous quilt. I will treasure it forever. Stories behind quilts. I started this with my belly in front of the quilt. So I, I decided, okay, I, just I, just, it I decided See, to. Tim even dressed in a, you know. Um, but anyway, I just heartfelt thanks. And to all of you who use your quilting, your card making, your knitting, anything that you create with to encourage other people going through things is just um, such a good use. And the stories behind quilts just last forever. We think of the people. Anyway, so that is. And Juanita said she just celebrated 13 years cancer free. Oh, so how fun. So anyway, I just love those blues. So what we're going to do. Ooh. Oh, did mine fall off? Or did I never have it on? Are you guys hearing me okay? No, I have to do this. I'm not sure if it fell off with the quilt or if I never had it well, on. Or when you stood up. <laughs> Thanks. And you guys know we love to go back and read comments afterwards. This is the quilt that I made in honor of this because it just reminds me of the lights and the darks and the blues. So this is what we're going to work on today. And I just wanted to point out that this is from, oh, I love this paper and I realize, oh my goodness, I'm down to the last little bit. I had enough to finish this quilt. I need to order another refill kit. So you can get this whole thing for $70 and you get the stamp set and dies and all that. Or you can get a refill kit. I'm, I'll be getting, you know, even the refill kit. I mean, it's awesome. If you just want more of the papers to deal with, if you're a blues lover of fabrics or blues like, like I am, music. or music, the whole thing. Um, so that's just kind of all the paper products. So you can buy just that alone too. I want to point that out. It's an either or. And I bought both, but I'm buying extra refill. <laughs> so to make this quilt, and I think this is called Jumbo Rails. So I'm going to correct me. So it's a really simple pattern. You see just the three strips. So oh, Andrea's three years free tomorrow. Oh, how fun to just hear all that. And I show you these papers. I didn't have quite all of the papers. So I'm repeating a couple, but look at these blues. So you've got, they're all just the blue and white or blue and vanilla, but aren't they just stunning? So these are beautiful. So to make this card, this is what I've done. I've taken my strips. These are half inch strips and I am lining them up because there's three wide here. So I'm putting today. I'm just, you know, I, I do different things, whatever I feel like I am doing three strips wide like this. And then whoops. Yeah, you gotta be pretty, pretty sure when you put this one down. Okay. And so I want you to notice here, here I did another one. These are three light strips. So these are all my strips. So see, I'll have more, I can make more here. And then I did two different sets of dark, the darker colors. Cause that's why I wanted to go with kind of the darker versus the lighter to get as much difference as I could there. So now I will take I don't do know um, my cutting board, but I'm not sure this is the one. I think this one is might be missing the blade. Let me see. I have to say, oh, it might be okay. Otherwise, I'll otherwise well, hand cut. We can do anything. I can run my finger across <laughs> it and see. <laughs> okay, so first thing I'm going to do is cut these off. So this is just a fun way to make these strips. This is a whole lot simpler than the uh, log cabin, the way I made the log cabin quilts. If, if, if you notice. Okay. Yep. Okay. We'll go there. And, and so over in the back porch stampers, people are sharing both quilts that they've made or received and the story. And 
that one didn't get on so good, but that's okay. We'll live with it. And cards that they're making, quilt cards. And then these I turned into squares. So these are half inch, so it's a half inch wide. And so then I'm gonna do half inch here. That's why some I already pre-cut. I'll do that and one and a half there. And one and a half here. Okay, so I have those. And then I need to cut this one at one and a half. So if I were gonna make a bunch of these, I would do a whole bunch of just putting the strips together first. And then you have all this stuff to just design away, play with. And I backed these just on, you know, regular computer type of printing, printing paper. Which Whoa, this? I lost one. No, you lost two. You just tossed okay, them on the- Okay, I think I'm okay. You tossed them on the ground. All right, I think we're okay. Okay, and then I'm just going to, this time I'll just put this on. But I'll go find him. Okay, we do call Tim the finder, so I guess that's, you know, he doesn't have a whole lot to do today. I said he's gonna have just a little thing I'm gonna give him. And this one, it is only three across and down, so I think I can be safe on starting at the top. Usually I start in the middle, but since I cut my paper and then I cut around it, so I'm going to go dark, and then I'm going to go light, and I'm going to, have it go the other direction and then dark again. And I cut my paper just for this, just a little bit smaller. Oh, you did it, see? And I just, I needed that one right now, Tim. Good. Perfect. And then here, it's gonna go the opposite direction of that. And then I'll take another dark. Oh, I did the same as there. I didn't mean to, but that's okay. You know, a lot of these don't matter, and I guess that could have gone over a little bit. And then we're gonna need, I want the other light. Okay, here's my other light. So it's gonna go this way. And then, oh, I buried that one a little bit. I, I, I can either remove them or I can live with them. I'm gonna live with them. You know, all the quilt cards I'm making this week, I said they're all um, beginning quilt cards, just like, whoa, except I messed up there. All right, not gonna live with it. <laughs> Talking, and <laughs> multitasking gets a little harder because this one has to go up and down like that one. Okay, and then down here, do you see how they're all just following opposite? So then this will go here. And I have a different dark one. Let's use my other patterns here. I'll put that one there and this one here. And there's my pattern, and I have more, so I can keep on going. And then you can see, I just layered it on a couple of different things. And I just think that just makes a really cool look. And this really does remind me of the quilt. So nowadays, if I get a quilt, I'll, I'll just have to make a thank you to them, but I wasn't doing that before. But I, I think quilts are such good inspiration because it's still the, it's the patterns and the design and vice versa. You know, it's just kind of the fun. Um, oh, what, what sizes are these? So these are just half inch strips. So if I put half inch strips together, so you can see I did three lights together to make some. And because they're each a half inch, then it's gonna be, it's gonna be one and a half inch wide. So I'm gonna cut them in one and a half inch squares. So I'm going by the size of this. If I were gonna do if you're gonna do like a, a giant one, you could do one inch strips if you were gonna do something to frame and put on the wall or you know a giant card, you could do one inch and then they'd be three inch squares. So it's kind of fun because, uh, and you could go tinier. You could do smaller than this and then it's gonna just change. So if you go smaller, you could have either a smaller card or you could add another layer. You could do like a three by four or this, just change things. Would this one be a nine by nine then? Three inch strips? This is one and a half, so it's four and a half square. If you did is that what you're asking? If you did bigger, yes, okay, that could be a nine, okay, <laughs> a nine patch. <laughs> and then my boxes, so this measures four and a half. And then I just go a half inch bigger, so this is an oversized card. So if this is four and a half inch square, my navy is four and three quarters inch square, my white is a five inch square, and then I just decided, you know, I 
took a whole sheet of cardstock, scored it in the middle, and just decided how much blue I wanted out because, you know, that's a little bigger because I thought, we're going big on this card. You know, this is the kind of card that just calls for that. But just think in terms of half inch or quarter inches. Anything really doesn't matter. What I really did is I just measured this. See, I, would, I would trim this part off now and that it, I'd measure it. And then I put it on my, my um, navy paper where I wanted it to be. And then I just cut off the other two parts. <laughs> and then I put on the white. So I didn't really even have a pattern, if that makes sense. But I'm just saying it's always like a quarter inch or a half inch. Um, typically a quarter or an eighth if you want to do really tiny. And we're, this, going, we're going to have a contest to see who can make it more complicated. Okay, yeah, that. I know. <laughs> we're going to have a math quiz. But this is, if you do half inch strips like I did, you're going to end up with a four and a half inch square for a card, which, which is a little bit, you know, four and a quarter is just on, is a, a regular size card. So if you want to make it a regular size card, then I'd do this as either three eighths, I bet would work or even one quarter. I just don't like to go too small when I'm showing it on here. Plus it is more work. Okay, oh, she said that helps. Okay, now I wanna do a couple other, just a little, a couple of other tips for quilt making. So, Tim, this is where you're gonna come in. All First right. of all, Tim was noticing a card the other day and he said, now this quilt looks different from the others. Do you remember that? No. Well, <laughs> and it was, well, it wasn't this one. It was another one you said, oh, I really like that. Oh yeah. Because uh, it had gone through the machine. So. All the quilts I've been making this week, so you know we have a bunch of them. These are um, this is one we made I think yesterday on the back porch stampers. I think I just love this one and I have a gorgeous quilt to go with that too. Uh, I have not been quilting, so we're just talking about possibilities because that's what we card makers do. If you take any quilt you've done and then put it through an embossing folder, then it's going to look um, quilted on its own. So that's a fun idea. Vera says she's just loving the quilt card designs. That's wonderful. So many and such a good idea to use up scrap. So wonderful. Uh, and then I wanted to point out, so Tim, this is what you're going to do. Oh. This is done just like this. These are just squares. Now, I want to point out how I did this really quickly on purpose because I wasn't even trying to go square. I think that's kind of a cool look. It, uh, it's my beginner's quilt, you know. I'm going to say I made this card when I was four. I didn't, but... <laughs> <laughs> now, if you want to get the look of quilting, of stitching, this is what you're gonna do. I'm gonna do a square and then I'm gonna have Tim try it. Whoa, is that, oh, this is not very pointed. Oh, I don't, I'm sorry, I didn't wanna use this. I need, I'm gonna use a pen. I think I might've just ruined this quilt card. Um, you know what I really want, Tim? Is what? a, uh, well, we'll use this. Uh, I grabbed the wrong thing, I meant, I, you don't want to use the blends. You want to use the regular markers with the fine tip part. But since they're all right, because see, notice this looks more like stitching. But it's okay. I can take that out and replace that one square. I can oh, get them. No, th this works just fine, just with a plain blue pen. But if you notice this, if you go around through each square, it really gives it that hand stitched look. And I'm going to see what Tim thinks about doing this. But it really is a cool look. And of course, if you're a really fine quilter, you're gonna make them all teeny tiny and they're gonna be perfect, but we're not going for that kind of look, are we? <laughs> Did Wait. you wanna go for that kind of look? <laughs> okay, so do I finish this? Every one? square. Uh, you know, I'm gonna replace that one, so okay. so do another square. This and just see how easy this, it is. This, this oh, is. that's your practice square. <laughs> or if I'm gonna put words on here, my they're gonna go right over there. My, oh, that's how we can save it. Put my words my right stitches over that. are bigger. And that's okay. You're just more of a beginner because, you know, they take, <laughs> it, it, it truly in quilting, it's to learn to take those teeny tiny steps and I never got, or, or, uh, you know, that's what they always say when you get together and quilt, it's that teeny tiny. But I think this makes a really nice homespun quilt kind of card, you know, this is one of those uh, necessity quilts where you're just kind of using up scraps and doing it. But isn't that cool? You can kind of just sit and do that. I think that looks good. <laughs> Okay, and then here's yet another idea of something you can do. <laughs> now, would you do it? Yeah, I can greens? easily take the square off. You that really won't the, be a problem. You greens and everything? Yeah, I would do it to everything. Do you see? Even if this comes off and it's a little. Uh, uh, so you have two choices when you make a mistake like that take it off, live with it, I guess three, or use a punch or something for words and put over it. So see, now I have a place to. I'll add a new one in there. 
Okay. Yeah, try a dark one and whatever. It's always going to just... <laughs> This is, so I'm going to show one more. Now this is a really fun. This is a keeper. I think we should just keep this. <laughs> this is the, the, the antique one. That... Okay, I was going to measure this. I think this is. I do have a ruler on the floor yep, here because right I'm going to be asked. Yes, I knew I. I knew I saw one. But I knew I'm going to be asked. I know. I knew. I know. Okay, this is. Yes, a one and a half inch square is the middle of my star and so then I did half of that so these are three quarter inch squares of the purple and red and then I just diagonally cut them I just wanted to make a really quick card and I think this stands alone just totally the way it is but since we're just living in the land of possibilities I wanted to show what else you could do let's say I want a stitching line all around this quilt now I could do this and I could draw in little measurements. I could be, you know, really fussy and then I could line it up. Uh, I probably should do that and I could line it up and do every third. You know, just know that you can do that if you're one of those people who want to do it. But for the sake of time, I'm just going for a just um, kind of a quick and easy look. So I am just guessing. So I am going around and just doing this. So have fun talking while Tim and I just sit here. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I work. am working. That's what I feel like. That's what I can feel like. And mine's a very exact, so I have to, I can't talk. Yours is a very exacting? Okay. You, you don't do any better at multitasking than I do? Is that well, you the do reality? You do better here? than I do. Oh, I, <laughs> I can't do. I'm just going to do, I'm just going to do part of this, but I'll put the entire one on my thing. <laughs> Jenny says you're so great at fixing mistakes. Yeah, what you learn to fix on camera because it just plain happens. Now, I think this is a really fun look just the way it is. This is just um, DOS, and you see it's going to go on here. But we call this, we've done this for many years, and I realize I haven't done this for a while, but I knew I would do it again with quilts because we call it faux stitching, F-A-U-X, kind of like false, fake, fake sticking, stitching. And now if I take this or a pen or anything. The thing that's cool, I can go from hole to hole and it actually looks like stitching. And the thing that I love is if you mess up and you kind of go off, it's okay because it looks like you double stitched. <laughs> if you ever done that and then you have to double stitch and you've got a thicker stitching, you know, it just looks like that. So I think this is um, just another fun way. Okay, Patricia is saying something I have to come back and look at and read because I'm not sure I figured it out. Now, you know, some of the other cards people have made, they have put on little knots. You could tie little knots on your quilt. There's just so many things that we can do that are just fun with quilting. So anyway, this is what this look is going to be like. Now, I don't know, Tim. Can I bother you? Yeah. Oh, I think that's interesting. So it's just a fun look. And how's yours looking? Should we put them up here side by side? <laughs> Person. And really, that's it. We just wanted to show a couple of other ideas while we're on quilting of other techniques that work really well with it. <laughs> Personally, I don't like either one of them. Oh, Patricia says, yes, we can do little X's instead of the dashes. You're right. That's a whole other way. This, you know, stitching can change. Yes. You don't like either one. You like them better plain? I do. Oh, it could be. They look sloppy. <laughs> well, I, I think, is, are you making a comment about us? No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, you yeah. are. <laughs> And I'm not sure. Now, I think on a, something a little more folk art might even be better with this. But it's an interesting look. And, and it's really just to encourage you to try, to just experiment, try a variety of things. So we have had a wonderful time here. Oh, we have so many quilts. What is, okay. Is this what we're talking? Oh, yeah. So see, here's a little knotted quilt. So see, you could put little knots with your thread on your quilt. And I think. Um, I could do those better, I think. I, I think it sounds like a lot of fine motor skills, Tim. I'm not <laughs> totally sure you would love me. But a blanket stitch, yes, would be a perfect thing, um, Sharon is suggesting. Uh, it would be a perfect thing to put in your card quilt. So see, look at the ideas we just come up with when we are start talking, uh, talking about ideas. And feather, stitch, feather stitching was what was used on the crazy quilt that I was sharing the other day in the back porch stampers and someone was commenting oh that's called a feather stitch i'd totally forgotten that 
But you, know, you can stitch. You can do holes and stitch on your quilted cards too and make them just look really fun and authentic. So I just want to make sure I have calls to action today. Come join us in the back, back porch stampers and scroll through and see all the cards and then the other the other um, cards that I've made. I just only had the one to show. That was handy. And we're still, I'm doing my last one tomorrow in the series. But scroll through and see all the cards and the quilts and then share yours because we just, it's a real sharing community. And, and the breast cancer quilt. Yes. And this weekend, hope you join us for World Card Day. I'll be putting up a list. So make sure you're on the mailing list and get that. And uh, we just appreciate you guys and let me know if you have any questions about anything. And have a wonderful weekend. I'm going to really enjoy this weekend going around and watching what my, what my team is doing and doing all that kind of stuff and learning some new things. So thanks to all of you for making this just so special and celebrating with me my eight years and my lovely quilt. That's what memories are. Bye. Bye.